In this video, we will be solving this problem right here. So a gaseous mixture containing 0.35 mole fraction of cyclohexane and 0.65 mole fraction of dry air is initially at 75 degrees Celsius and 1080 uh, milligrams of mercury. If mixture is cooled at constant pressure, what temperature will cyclohexane first start to condense? Also, at what temperature would 48% of the cyclohexane condense? So in this line right here, we have when cyclohexane first starts to condense, that means that the liquid phase of the cyclohexane and the gas phase of cyclohexane are at equilibrium and the vapor is therefore saturated. When vapor is saturated, we can use Raoult's law. So that would be P cyclo is equal to the mole fraction of cyclo times pressure, which would equal P star cyclo at our temperature. And that would be our Raoult's law. And so let's do this part first. So P star cyclo at our given temperature will equal Y cyclo pr for pressure. And so what do we have? So we have a mole fraction of 0.35 for cyclohexane. 0.35 would be here. Uh, so mole of cyclo per mole. And our pressure was 1080 milligrams of mercury. So times 1080 milligrams of mercury. We would now get 378 milligrams of mercury. And next, we will use this piece of information for this part right here. If mixture is cooled at constant pressure, what temperature will cyclohexane first start to condense? This is where we will use Antoine's um, equation. So Antoine's equation is like this, log uh, base 10, uh, P star would equal A minus B divided by T plus C. So A, B, and C would be given from this equation right here. So A, B, and C is given through the Antoine's equation constant for cyclohexane we just got P star, so now we can solve for T. So let's do that. So log base 10, P star was 378, and this is going to equal A. A is 6.84941 minus B. B is 1206.001 divided by T plus C. C was 223.148. Now I will use my TI Inspire CX cost to solve for T. So we'll hit menu, we'll hit algebra, we'll hit solve, and now we will write what we have. So we have a log base 10, we can say 10. Um, 378 is equal to 6.84941 we have a fraction control division sign, 1206.001. Uh, we want to solve for T plus 223.148. We say comma T, simply hit enter, and we get that temperature would be 59.16 degrees Celsius. And so through using this equation right here, we would get temperature would be 59.16 degrees Celsius. This was the first part. If a mixture is cooled at constant pressure, what temperature will cyclohexane first start to condense? This would be this. Next, we will get at what temperature would 48% of the cyclohexane condense? So first, we will need to find the mole fraction of cyclohexane in the vapor phase when 48% of it has condensed. So let's do that now. So NF is equal to parentheses 100 minus 48 divided by 100 times 0 0.35. 0 0.35 because in the given problem statement we have a gaseous mixture containing 0 0.35 mole fraction of cyclohexane. And so this would equal 0 0.182. 
So now, Y cyclo times pressure. We would get 0 0.182 times our 1080 uh, milligrams of mercury. And this would equal 196.6 milligrams of mercury. From here, we use the exact same Antoine's equation. So log 10 parentheses 196.6 is equal to 6.84941 minus 1206.001 divided by t plus 223.148. Um, using the exact same method on our TI Inspire, temperature would equal 41.57 degrees Celsius. And that's all we need to do for these two problems.